Today is part one of a three-part series on going to try a color scheme that has some blues as well as some warm metallics like gold, iridescent pearl, and also we'll add in a little bit of burnt sienna. So this is my indigo mixture. It has ultramarine blue and quinacridone magenta. we will go from light to dark since that's already dark we'll start with our lightest color which is iridescent pearl then moving on to gold ultramarine blue, so slightly lighter than the background color. And also a smidge of the background color, which is indigo. And we will swipe it. I'm going to do two swipes. giant piece of trash. I think I might do a couple more smaller swipes. I think that was a mistake. I didn't like how much blue there was there, but now I feel like my line has been broken up. I think maybe if I tilt it a little, because I'm not really digging it. I haven't tilted in a while. I'm going to tilt. Try to let it run all the way off over there. And then we'll tilt the other way. Sorry, you can't see this very well. This is looking 
looking a little muddy. I'm not loving it. I'm gonna allow it to stretch out a little and hope for some stuff to come back to me. Okay. How am I feeling about this? It's a little more chaotic and messy than I'm used to, but I feel like once it settles and develops, I might dig it because it's different. It's certainly different. I'm going to pop some air bubbles and let it sit. It's actually looking pretty cool. I do love this color scheme. Okay, let's touch up the sides. Ah, oh my god. Well, that just happened. That just happened. I believe I did that. Watch. Now I'm going to go back and keep doing the same thing that made that mistake happen. Because you know, I'm hard headed. I didn't used to touch up my canvases while they were still wet. I waited till they were dry and I got so many comments. Why did you not do the sides? But I did like after the video was over. So then I started doing it and look what happens. Dang it. And I've got a corner right here that's a little boring. Well, it's not boring, it's just so solid. I can't resist the urge. I'm gonna to try to fix it. Okay, I better walk away before I mess it up. I think I like it. You gotta, gotta sort of let stuff sit before you can form an opinion. I do anyway. So that's what I'll do. We'll come back. So yeah, this guy, I don't know. Still an enigma just because it's so different than what I've been doing. Sorry about the glare. I'm trying to avoid it here. Let's just see some close ups. I like the stretched out cells. It's just a little too tie dye ish for me. I really like how fiery that looks right there. Um, I'm hoping that the contrast becomes even stronger and that the lighter areas begin to pop.
pop out a little more as the dark areas dry and that the light areas don't disappear. Because in real life, this painting's a little on the dark side. And I'm not too excited about how dark it is. But it's new and different. I like the color scheme, so we'll see how it goes after it's dry. Yay! All right, so this one has grown on me. I like the variation and the crazy detail in this fiery, watery composition. It definitely feels like flames or tie-dye, but there's some really gorgeous orangey yellow up against this blue, and there's just enough white to, to make it not an overwhelmingly dark artwork. Um, there's some really nice variation between the bottom and the top, and I think I dig it. Hope you guys do. Let me know what you think. Patreon now as well as a Teespring account. You can support me by becoming a patron or you could buy some merch. There's a banner down below where you can buy t-shirts, hoodies, tank tops, kids shirts, also coffee mugs. Also if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and click the bell if you want to get notified of my next videos. And as always thanks for watching. Bye!